Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. we got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Ken, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I'm Rich Walsh. You can give me a call tonight, 412-575-2600. Sitting right next to me right now is Gene Collier. We're going to be talking about the Steelers. They get Marcus Gilbert back to practice. Cody Sensabaugh, Ben Roethlisberger, and Bud Dupree, they all miss practice. Ben Roethlisberger, this was just a coach's decision. Uh, Dupree's dealing with an illness. And Cody Sensabaugh is the one player right now in question uh, potentially this Sunday. But that's somewhat good news, good injury news, Gene, when you're looking at the Steelers' situation right now, getting uh, Marcus Gilbert back for James Conner. Because we know he's going to be the starting running back because Le'Veon Bell did not report again this week. Really, Le'Veon Bell? No, he's not, not there. Yeah, oh, you know, everyone surprising. thought he was going to show up this Wednesday, but yeah, uh, just a, a great season continuing for James Conner and uh, getting Marcus Gilbert back probably helped. Although I thought Matt Filer did a really good job for him on Sunday. The, uh, Matt Filer has had to start for Marcus Gilbert uh, in two games. The first one was at Tampa. It was the first game that the Steelers won, and he did it again Sunday uh, when they won their fourth and five. So he, he's done a great job. Uh, but the Steelers' offense, you know, um, is really, uh, you know, seeking that level that they want. They're, you know, up, up there around 30 points a game, and they're one of the better offenses in the league. Yeah, Filer 2-0 and now as the right tackle there yeah. for Marcus Actually, 3-0 and going back to last year. A 3-0 and going yeah. back to last year. Right. So, um, James Conner, AFC Offensive Player of the Week. He, right. you know, joins a list of some big names. There's some big names on that list. Ben yeah. Roethlisberger being one of them this year. And, you know, I think he deserves it. Uh, 212 total yards. And right now, if you look at his total yards from scrimmage, 922, I believe, and he's on pace for over 2,100 yards a season. That would be an amazing stat if he could reach that. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's just no, you know, overstating what he's meant to the, the Steelers because he really was a question mark when the season started. I mean, a lot of people thought, well, now the Steelers are in trouble because Bell is not here, but that proved not to be the case. Yeah, and that's been one of the big questions, and I know we've been talking for about it, you know, it seems like weekly here, but, you know, I'm comfortable with James Conner right now, and I would just really like to, you know, put the Le'Veon Bell behind us and not talk about it anymore. I mean, I kind of have a feeling, why, does he, why would he even report now? I, I know he has to be here by November 13th, but w so you come November 13th, you still could get hurt in six games. So oh, just, sure, yeah. you know, what, he should just not even report. And, you know, if you show up on November 13th, you're not going to be ready to play, I wouldn't say, till you know, closer to December. Yeah. So, uh, but, you know, on the other hand, if the Steelers went into December with James Conner and Le'Veon Bell at running back, I, you know, it would be pretty good. Yeah, I think it would be good, too, because I think it's a win-win situation for the Steelers. Um, I don't know how this is a win situation for Le'Veon Bell, and I keep thinking about it more and more. I mean, like, I, I do not understand it at all. It makes no sense unless he has some kind of handshake agreement or a backroom-type deal with another team that he is sitting out this year and giving up this amount of money um, to basically, so what are you doing? You're trying to protect your body, but you're still a year older. So what, what are you, yeah, what are you really, accomplishing? Rich, I have to tell you, I've been thinking about it less and less. Because it does not make any sense to me. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But James Conner is the guy for the foreseeable future, and he's doing one heck of a job back there uh, for the Steelers. Now switching gears to the Penguins a little bit, Chris Letang made the road trip. He is expected to play in Long Island. He missed last game with a lower body injury. Um, so that adds some help to the Penguins, who who lost to the Islanders last night in a big way, 6-3. to three. So that's good for the Penguins. Uh, for Pitt, um, that's some other things that we're talking about. They have a big game against Virginia. The Panthers control their own destiny right now. Can you believe that, Gene? No. I mean, I can't, the way they started this season. Uh, and now, if they, if they win out, they're going to go to the Coastal Division Championship. They're going to go to the ACC Division Championship win the Coastal. Yeah, well, that Coastal Division is always topsy-turvy, Rich. <laughs> that's one of the things we know about college football. It's one of those axioms that's just embedded in college football tradition, the Coastal Division at the ACC, and it's great to be in a coastal town. I'm going down to the boardwalk right after this, Rich. Are you? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, it makes so much sense, the way they do things in college football and the NCAA. Um, you know, I like Pitts in the ACC, but they, they, they need to revamp it and re, regionalize. That, that's what they should have done at the beginning, but that's a whole other discussion for 
another day unless you want to talk about it. We're going to be taking phone calls tonight, 412-575-2600 is the number. Give us a call or you can tweet me at Richie Walsh back in a couple minutes.